Hey everyone, this is Michael Treadhart, National Technology Instructor, and I want to let you know about a nice new feature to eEdge that is going to be really powerful for real estate agents. It's going to be it's going to give you the ability to market uh, in a radius search around a just listed, a just sold. You can pull up zip codes and you can do custom searches for people that you want to send some marketing pieces to. But we're going to have a little fun with this. We're going to show you how you can turn eEdge into a dating system, how you can turn it into match.com. We do this in the classes that I teach and a lot of the agents who are single have a good time with it. So here's what we do and here's how you guys can do it. You log into kw.com, you see your eEdge control panel, come over here to where you see my marketing, hit the plus sign, and let's just go ahead and let's get into the back office of eEdge. And I, I just clicked on manage your eEdge website to get into the back office. You can get in a couple different spots. It doesn't necessarily matter where you get in, just get in. But when you come over and you see admin, either come over here to where it says my account or hit the my account tab right over here to the left. When you go to that, one of the very first things that you need to do is if you're going to do your mail outs through this system, you have to come down here and click on billing and shipping and upload your payment method. So you would need to come over here, put in your payment method. It's going to be in a secure environment. It's going to allow you to put in your credit card information. Then you're going to put in your shipping address. You're going to put in all that information. So make sure you take the time to get this all set up if you're going to do these types of mail outs. Once that's complete, you're going to come over to where you see create marketing, marketing materials. You're going to click on that. That's going to bring you into all of the different marketing materials and items that I can mail out, such as a postcard, such as a property postcard from eEdge. I'm going to click on one of those. And I see just listed, I see just sold, I see all these different ones that I can choose. I see an open house, whatever the case may be. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and choose one of the uh, just listed. So I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to hit create edit. Now, I'm going to choose, if I have my office MLS ID number set up properly, I'm going to be able to choose from the list of active listings in my MLS. If you don't have this list showing, you don't have your MLS office ID number plugged into your system, contact your trainer locally, contact your leadership. They can show you where to go in and put this information. But once you get it set up, choose one of those listings. And with this listing, whether it's your listing or somebody else's, you can go in and you can advertise that. Now, if it is somebody else's listing, you need to get their permission. So you would need to go to this listing agent and say, hey, is it okay if I send out a just listed card, just sold card, whatever the case may be. So I would come over here and I would, you know, if it's my listing, make some changes to it. If it's not my listing, don't change it. Kind of leave it as is. But I would come over and I would then say save as and make a copy of this. But we're going to have a little fun with this postcard. We want to go in and make this custom. We want to go in and make this all about advertising yourself and maybe finding somebody uh, in the online dating scene that you could go out on a date with. So you would come over and you could hit the plus sign on add and say add rectangle. And cover this whole postcard and change the background to red, change it to white, do whatever you want to, but you can pretty much go in and start to redesign these cards any way you want. You basically paint the wall whatever color you want. So we're going to call this uh, save as, we're going to call this dating postcard. Now, normally, it's going to be just listed, just sold. We're having a little fun right here. So we hit save. We exit the editor. Now when you look at your list, don't look at marketing materials, look at my saved pieces. And I see postcards that I can send out. So if I have this one here, if I have another one, here's a just listed one that I could click on. doesn't matter. Any one of these. I click on them. I go down to where it says create, edit, desktop, print, order, printing. What you're going to do in this case is you're going to hit order, printing. It's going to come up. Now this is a new feature in this system. You now have the ability 
to go in and add a mailing list. So I hit this little hyperlink next to the green plus. Once I do that, I had the ability to purchase a mailing list at eight cents per address. I could create a mailing list from my database. I could upload a mailing list or I could reuse one that I've already created. Let's say that we want to go in and create a mailing list at eight cents per mailing address. So I hit continue. Now, if I was doing a just listed, just sold, I could come over here and where it says address with radius, I could type in the address, put my state in there, put my city in there, and then I can do a radius all the way down to 0.1, all the way up to 150. So I could go out and I could find all the different contacts within that radius search. That's new. It's pretty powerful within the system. When I show this in class, a lot of the agents are like, wow, I had no idea we could do that. When I come over to zip codes, I could say, let's do these zip codes. Let's do 75071. Let's do 75070. 75069. 75093. So I'm going to do a mail out based on these zip codes. And if I hit continue, I have the ability to adjust some basic selections. Send this just listed, this just sold card out to anybody whose estimated income range is 100 to 249. Are they a homeowner or are they a renter? Are they somebody who has an estimated home value in a certain range? And you can check multiples or you can leave it unchecked. And what is the length of residence? Have they been there less than a year, all the way up to longer than 15 years? And again, I could check multiples. But here's where we have a little fun in class. We'll find all the people that are single in class and say, we're not doing a just listed card. We're doing a dating card. So we want to find somebody who's a homeowner, whose estimated income range is $100 to $249,000 a year. And if we come down here to where it says advanced search, when I click on that, I have the ability to choose an age range. So if I want to date somebody, what age do I want it to be? We have a little fun in class telling me we can, we can widen the scope as far as we need to. We can single it down as, as narrow as we need to. But you can do multiple selections. Month of birth. If you can only live with a Gemini and can't live with something else, make your choices. Marital status. Well, if I'm going to go on a dating uh, campaign. Probably want to choose the single people. And then choose the gender that you want to date, male or female. Are they the head of household in this case? Doesn't necessarily matter. What's their housing type, their dwelling unit size, their mortgage type? You have all mortgage sale month, lifestyle data. I want to date only the single people who have an interest in comic books who like credit cards, who like dogs, who have this, have that, have all these different lifestyle data that I can choose from. Presence of children. I, I kind of like how they have that phrase. Do they have kids in the household? Do they not have kids? Grandparents in the household. Veterans. A certain religion that I want to date. Voter registration. Only the Democrats, only the Republicans, the Libertarians. Contacts per household. Basically, I have all these different options to further subdivide down who I want to mail out to. So when I'm talking about a just listed, just sold, that's powerful. Now we're having a little fun right here. Estimated income range of 100 to 249. We're looking for homeowners. We're looking for somebody that age. We're looking for no preference on the month of birth. They got to be single. They got to be female. And we are searching those uh, zip codes that I pulled up earlier. So here we go. Drum roll, please. Let's see what our results pull up. It's going in, searching all of that. There are 1,082 people, females, that match that criteria. So I could refine the search. If that's too broad of a scope, I could start over completely. Or if I wanted to go out and send out my dating card to over 1,000 females, I could. I would hit continue, and I could purchase all of them, purchase a certain quantity, with a minimum of 25. So we come over here and we hit 25. I hit continue. And then as I start to go on through this, it'll ask me, do I want to add current resident to each mailing address? Yes, you do. 
Do you want to add yourself to the mailing list so you know when it goes out? Yes, I do. What's the mailing list name? I'm going to call this the dating game. But this could be you're just listed, you're just sold mailing list. And if I hit add to cart, then it's going to ask me to go ahead and start the payment process. But that's basically how you can go in, create a card in Create Marketing, Marketing Materials, create a postcard, and make it a dating postcard, make it a just listed card, make it a just sold card, whatever the case may be. And then all you have to do is click on it, go to where it says Order Printing, hit the plus sign where it says Add Mailing List, and you then have the ability to purchase a mailing list based on any criteria that you want to that's on this list. Pretty powerful stuff. And this is not a pro function. This is open to all eEdge users. So definitely take advantage of that. If you have any questions on this, please email me at michaeltrithart at gmail.com. You can go out to my website, which is michaeltrithart.com, or look at the other videos that we have here on the YouTube channel to pick up some other great ideas to help you with your marketing. Have a great day.